YouTube friends, it's Donna again, and I had to find a quiet place to record, so I'm in my bathroom with my essential oils in the back. So not the best background for you. It's pretty windy outside today, so I'm not out there, and the kids are making a ruckus in the other room. So uh, I just thought I'd stop in. This is going to be my day, the actual day eight. It's actually day nine. But it's my day eight of the 14 day challenge since I skipped Sunday. And uh, what I'm going to talk to you about is my weight loss journey. And um, that has been a roller coaster for me. Um, I am joining the weight loss challenge with um, a couple other of the homesteads. I'll link them below. Um, Jessica Lee with um, J Love Adventures is the one who inspired me to join. So um, let's just uh, get a little bit of this out in the open. And I guess the first step is admitting to where I am <laughs> um, and how it all began. My, um, my weight loss journey or my weight problem as we might call it. It started when I was actually 15. And uh, I was in a terrible accident and broke my back and my neck. And I was out of commission for quite a long time. Recovery um, took several years. And I um, just can't exercise like I used to. And at the time, I weighed 105 pounds. And about the only thing I found that I enjoyed at the time was food. And I had decided that I was going to start out eating my boyfriend and we'd have competitions who could uh, eat the most Taco Bell and junk food all the time, which didn't help the cause at all. But um, that was what started the weight gain. Um, when I was in my 20s, I, I started, things got a little better. I became a little more active. I started line dancing with some friends and going out every night and I lost the weight again. I got down back to about 120. I had shot up to 195, by the way. That was an owie for me. And um, so got married when I was 18, got divorced four months later. And um, that didn't help the cause either because that's when some depression, <laughs> that's when some depression set in. And um, I started eating again. Then in, like I said, in my 20s, I got active. Started going dancing every weekend and a couple times in, in the middle of the week as well. And I was having a lot of fun with that. And I started getting back in shape, started losing a little bit of the weight, wasn't eating the same. Um, and I was a little more focused on my health at the time. And uh, just being an active 21-year-old, uh, I guess, I met my current husband when I was 22. And... Uh, Married life set in, <laughs> and I started gaining weight then, and I put on pounds back up to 195. In fact, I shot over that, um, and I went to a total of 257. We were about eight years into our marriage, and I had weight loss surgery. And I got myself down, looking good again, feeling great, started to be more active, and... Um, I was always told that I couldn't have my own children, and um, that's because of PCOS. And I guess something with the rapid weight loss corrected that problem, and I wound up finding... Then I was shocked to find out that I was pregnant with Ethan. And um, that was two years after I had gastric bypass. And it wasn't so bad. I didn't put on too much weight with Ethan at all, and I was feeling good. Had Ethan, kept the weight off, and then two years after that, or almost 20, about 22 months after that, I got pregnant with Logan. In fact, Logan's birthday was this Sunday, um, this past Sunday, and he's seven now. Well, with Logan, I packed the pounds on, and I had a really rough pregnancy with him, and a really rough birth, and had to have an emergency C-section. And after he was born, I think I put on about 75 pounds, it brought me up over the 200 mark once again, and I was only able to lose 
a few of it and I'm back to about the 195 mark. 197.8 is what I weighed in when I started on June 1st. This morning when I weighed in, I had lost a couple pounds and I'm at 194.6. So it's working. Um, the, I've only done one thing so far and that is to switch out my breakfast for morning shakes with a Crave blocker and trying my best and hardest to cut out the Red Bulls and the caffeine. I cheated today because I had a really bad headache and wasn't feeling good and I was craving that Red Bull like crazy, so I'm gonna admit it, I cheated and I did have a Red Bull. When it comes to exercising, I'm a little bit limited. I can't touch my toes. Um, Sit-ups are a little hard for me, but I can walk, that's a good thing. So um, hiking and walking um, in moderation, I do pretty well with. And I plan to incorporate a lot more of that into uh, my daily routines. Um, along with the breakfast shakes, we are looking into keto diet. Paul's having to lower his cholesterol and um, his blood pressure. So doctor really recommended him losing weight as well. So Paul's doctor uh, recommended that he lose weight as well. So we're going to look into doing keto. And if you have any good keto recipes or sites that you recommend, please drop them in the comments below. I'd love to check them out. Um, other than that, I continue this journey and I will check in again next week. Hopefully I've dropped a few more of those pounds and I have something good to report. Look forward to talking to you soon. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.